What's going on, people? We're back. We're back for on another episode. Of, yeah, yeah. Of your mama's favorite podcast. The, not the, we changed it last week. Mm. The Physics Study Group. Hashtag TPSG. Word. Welcome back. Thanks for rocking with us again. How you doing, Flocker? I'm doing good, man. You're there. There you are on the bully side. And we left the window open. We got my dog back there. Ooh. Well, no, nah, he's a bird. He's not a dog. Yeah. <laughs> I picked Dude. dogs up, though. <laughs> Word. I <laughs> <laughs> dropped them off. Exactly. <laughs> and if you don't know who I am, it's your boy, Jormatic, a.k.a. Black Galifianakis, a.k.a. Loud Pat Chopra. AKA, I can't say Wave Chappelle because my barber cut my hair too low and kind of cut my waves out. Mm-hmm. So I got to wait like one more week for it to go back. But uh, part I'm going to be sea. wavy again. <laughs> <laughs> that boy part the Red Sea on you. Right. <laughs> my roots are always wavy. You understand? Same, same here. Same here. Because I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Once the camera turns around on one kid, you'll see why that's hilarious. I'm 3% polyester, you know what I'm saying? For real, right? <laughs> But this is Flocka Zulu, a.k.a. Sir Black Star the Third, a.k.a. Nicodemus, a.k.a. Pablo Escovich, a.k.a. William Name Day, a.k.a. <laughs> no more A.K. Stop the Violence. <laughs> yes. So, how's the week, I folks? didn't even know. You introduced yourself? Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's your boy, Who Kid, a.k.a. Foul Owl, a.k.a. Wow. Jerk Chicken, a.k.a. Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> That's offensive somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how, but it is. Somebody. <laughs> uh... Uh, A.K.A. Mr. Offensive. Hey. There Mr. Offensive. Mr. Okay. Offensive. Right. Which is, yeah, funny. <laughs> Very like funny. One. Speaking like of offensive. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but um, this week I was like, you know, on a little movie spree. Mm-hmm. And I saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Ah. Quentin Tarantino, one of my favorite directors. This is our 10th film, mm-hmm. I think. A side note, he um he's like very... Like tight and neat with his things, mm. he said he wanted to make ten movies and like get out the game. Mm. Yeah, like he has other movies, but like there's his like ten that's like yeah. known to him, like Pulp Fiction, Reservoir Dogs, you know, Word. Django, whatever. Word. And you know, it's a movie about like a old failing actor to kind of get his luster back, mm. and um, his his stunt double. Mm. And, you know, they're navigating through Hollywood during the time of the uh, the Manson family murder, Charles Manson. Mm. But it's not centered on that. That's just like the backstory mm. or whatever. And usually every Tarantino movie, it doesn't matter whether it's Jackie Brown, Django, and Glorious Bastards, is always mega violence. Mm. When I say mega violence, I mean like the end of Django. Word. If you haven't seen the end of Django... You gonna be watching it like this? I mean, he <laughs> fucked them crackers up. Word, it was them bullets was. They, no. were, they was. Remember, uh, what was it? The Golden Gun and Golden Eye. Oh, yes. it was basically that same gun. One Word. one shot, <laughs> one shot. You can shoot a man in the toe, he gone. Yeah, no, for real. Man, that beyond that, you shoot a man in the toe, and the whole room gets splattered with blood. <laughs> for real, <laughs> what was going on? With, how Damn. did they make blood back then? Like, bro, yeah, I miss Ed 64, though. He had a hand cannon, bro. bro. Cannon. cannon. Look at your shot. <laughs> fucking tree trunk hole in your abdomen, For real, bro. Like, like, what, what are you using? Bro. <laughs> and then <laughs> die. Like, boom. And like, chunks of people. With For real. Right. <laughs> but I'm saying that to say this. Like, throughout the whole movie, if you watch it, it slowly paced like regular Tarantino <laughs> film, a lot of dialogue or whatever, but it wasn't a lot of violence mm. until the end. Mm. My nigga, I watched that shit high last night. <laughs> Big fucking mistake. For some reason, when I'm high, I'm more compassionate. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I watch things like, whoa! <laughs> so, were you crying, I, Mr. Jordan? No, I didn't cry. Okay. I didn't cry. It's not real. You know what I'm saying? Well, so the like, story is, because this is. No, I, I was just about to say that. Yeah. The original story. Is that four people from the Manson family went to Roman Polanski's house mm. and, and murdered his wife, who was eight months pregnant, and like four other friends that were there, mm. like yeah. fucked them up, stabbed them several times. But how Tarantino does, just like Django and uh, Inglorious Bastards, he twists history where the bad guy gets it. Mm. So instead, the Manson people went to. Hold on. Spoiler at all? Oh like, no, definitely kinda... spoiler alert. Definitely spoiler yeah, alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to pass it giving away the, the movie. Yeah, so yeah, like you know? instead, you know, they went to, you know, um Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt's, you know, where they were. Mm-hmm. And Brad Pitt is a stunt double, Cliff Booth, and he fucked them up. Like mm-hmm. it was bad. Like it was it was like the movie's like two and a half hours. Two two hours and fifteen minutes of you know, regular Tarantino die. I'm like, where's the violence? Like, oh don't worry, it's coming. <laughs> it was gruesome, my nigga, but 
one half you're like, damn, did he have to do that? And the other half was like, well, they did come to kill him, so they killed them, as, killed Word. them first. Yeah. Word. But like it was, it was one of those side like inglorious bastards. Exactly. Like, Remember they showed yeah. Hitler getting the bullets to his face, bro. Satisfied. <laughs> satisfied. You, you know mm. what? As you as you bring that up, um, I haven't watched a movie lately, but mm. I'm four episodes into it. A mini series that they put on Netflix. Um, Who killed Malcolm X? Mm. Uh, what? I've never heard of that. Bro, I gotta watch that now. Watch that. You I've learn never a heard of a lot of stuff about that whole death, everything. How I'm only four episodes? episodes in, so it's kind of hard for me to speak on it. But definitely, episodes, like, if you got Netflix, I mean, I've, fucking I've watch it. Bro, if you got your friends' Netflix, bro, <laughs> or your friends log in on bro, Netflix. The, yeah, the, the the American government, bro. First, first, of, all, first of all, that's not even. You understand <laughs> how deep we wanna go? Yeah. Where they, they they take it up, but bro, they literally like murdered. You want people, a bro. story about how white America don't like black people? <laughs> Watch that shit. Bro. How long it, are the episodes? No, like an hour each. Okay. Like when they just explain how the cops showed up all casual, walked out the car, made sure to close the door. This is a political civil uh, civil rights movement leader, basically, mm. that just got shot. In broad daylight, in a public event, you just walking in mm. like it's nothing. They don't give a fuck. They don't, I mean, they granted, don't it was care. 1960, and I'm sure two blocks over, a black person was being bit by a great, uh, fucking dog. Mm. Yeah, so you get what I'm saying? German like, Shepherd. I understand it wasn't a lot of concern back mm. then, but Jesus. No, nah, it was bad, like, man. And then the whole thing about oh, the king. He I'm didn't not die on his assassination. They said he got suffocated in the hospital room yeah. with a pillow. Hold on. <laughs> Before anything, this isn't much of a spoiler because it's like in the first episode. Same day that Malcolm X died, uh -huh. they just moved the chairs and shit and had a party. That's disgusting. They never rescheduled the fucking party. That's disgusting. So there's oh. bullet holes all in the room with circles around them, and they just I do wap stop stop but up. They did in the 1960s. What the fuck the 60s music was? Oh, and it was like, wow. Oh, did you hear? It? Malcolm X died. The and they just sitting there <laughs> dancing like, what the fuck? They use a bro. bullet hose to hold their cigarettes and shit. <laughs> no, like, at, like, throw them away. Yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, my God. That's Fucking terrible. crime scene, bro. bro. That's wild, They don't respect dog. our leaders. Nah. You know they, what they, I mean? And they still don't. Look, they still if you don't. get a chance, watch it. No, no, I definitely will. I, I knew nothing about it until but two minutes ago. <laughs> before we go on a wild ass Wait, tangento. Tangento. <laughs> um, Let's get into let's get into one of our uh, classic segments segments, fellas. Jorvatic's top five. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> and this one, um, I kind of got inspired for this one because I don't know if you knew. What are you talking about? Uh, no, I'm about to tell you. Oh, okay. Top five hip hop ad libs. Mm, okay. And side note. I, I thought about doing it because Rick Ross has a song with Dwayne Wade on it. Mm. If you haven't heard it, don't. <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's not that terrible. Wade's flow is it's just not terrible. That Man, listen. The hate? Bad. No, no, no. It's not bad. I just don't like how Wade sounded. What he was saying was just regular stuff. He sounded like he was rap. He, he sounded like Ross. I love no, the mixed reviews. Wrote, he, He's like, don't listen to it as he wears a Miami Wade County shirt. <laughs> oh, no. He's still one of the greatest <laughs> basketball players ever. He's just a terrible rapper. I, so. him. I hate him. Like, he, he was like rapping a fucking like schoolgirl with a rose petal. I <laughs> love you, love you. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was rapping like he was reading off an index card. But you like, know, probably was. Him, him not being. No, nah, he was rapping like he was reading <laughs> off a <of> Blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Frap. <laughs> Uh, you can hear him rolling the ball <laughs> on the, on the <laughs> circa Drake 2012, right? Mm -hmm. oh, he used wow. to, all he used to rap about his BlackBerry. No, of course, yeah. People used to make fun of him and shit. Mm -hmm. But um, so let's get into this. We're gonna start at the bottom. Five, Travis Scott. Mm. He's lit. What? He like, has a couple. No, no, yeah, he, he, like he, he has a couple, right? Lit. He has um straight up, straight up. That's probably my favorite. Straight up, one. yeah, that's, that's probably my favorite one. I remember that um. Trip we took the uh, one fest mm. and we ran through the rodeo album. Mm. I fell in love with Travis Scott. That like it, that straight up, 
Yeah, it's just I don't I don't know. It's just certain ad libs just like do something to you. You've been in the middle of a party here straight up. Like what's, yeah. What's <laughs> what's that song he has with Drake? Um and at the end. The, my favorite the, Oh, you talk about sickle mode. Yeah. Yeah. Dope, my favorite part of you know how long sickle mode is. It's like eight songs. Word, yeah. Word. <laughs> my favorite part of the whole song at, is at the end where he says, Check <laughs> after Oh yeah, yeah. He <laughs> was like about a check. Check. <laughs> like that's Bro, it's like I feel it's that. like a it, yeah, it's like a, yeah, it's like, like we all have that hype, man. Yeah, yeah. Like you know what I'm if you about to have sex, you like <laughs> jerk, <laughs> yeah, jerk. Like it's, it's like what was that the word? Yeah, just lay back. <laughs> we about to have sex. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> she takes like, her panties off. It's lit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number four. You know we got to put my dog Jeezy in there, young Jeezy. That's you know right. he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga used to just be like. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> Word. And then you know, I love them on um Can't Tell Me Nothing. Mm. Oh yeah. Bro. They're like honestly, if I if I would have heard that song without Kanye's vocals, it just Jesus' vocals, it would have been A-OK. Like mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, but one of the most memorable and time honored songs by Jeezy. Is my president is black. Oh yeah. Oh easily. Oh yeah. Bro, I was easily. rolling so oh, hard easily. after Obama bro, got elected bro. to that shit. Like what? this nigga said my president. Nigga, I'm talking about my bumper wasn't good. I had a bad pay job, but I was like, bro. nigga, my president is fucking driving bro. in all white neighborhoods. I don't care what you was driving <laughs> with a blue Lambo, bro. bro right? This nigga said my president is black, yeah. my, my Lambo, Lambo is, is blue. blue. And I'll be goddamn yeah. if, if my, the ribs ain't too. Yo, <laughs> like, <laughs> what? That is mm. poetry. poetic, nigga. Oh, <laughs> Shout out to Jesus. Poetic. Bro. We out here quoting it like it's a Bible verse. Right? <laughs> I'll be L- the the great be goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> if my ribs ain't too. Yeah, but uh, you know Jeezy would be cheering the that's right. You know, that was a good one. That was a good Does he say too. okay too? I know Lil John okay. says okay. But nah, that's Lil John. No, no, but Jeezy never said okay. I feel like he He's did, like, but maybe in a different way. I yeah, can't remember. Like, that's right. And oh. chill. Yeah. I feel like, anyway. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah. I wish we could dip into the private sessions of a nigga coming up with his ad libs. Bro, bro, their video, their video, like, the what? Waka Flocka doing his ad libs. And it's just like, bow, 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 bow. I want music. just the ad libs as a track. But, but then, That's bro, workout music. <laughs> when you, when you you're like, hold on, hold on, did it die? <laughs> Blah! Like, oh, okay, nigga. Okay. <laughs> I'm still getting it. It's like it never dies, bro. But when you when you look back, like sixty percent of his songs were ad libs, bro. Yeah, ad libs yeah. in uh in chorus and hooks. Yeah, I got a whole yeah. lot of yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So on to number three. It's a it's a two way tie. Mm. So it's kind of like a top eight. Black number <laughs> three, we have a tie between <laughs> Two Chains and mm. Chance the Rapper. Ah ah ah! ah. Who's that? that? Chance the Rapper. You know who Chance the Rapper is? No, that ad lib. That's his ad lib. I mean, I, I ain't it. the biggest Chance the Rapper fan, does so he still I don't do know. It? Cause I not know as he, not as often, but he, he does. does. No, he does. Okay. He does it. He does it. I remember when he first came out with Acid Rap. That's the thing that caught my ear the most. I'm like, this ad lib is crazy. <laughs> and then you know you got two chains. Yeah, he has a, two chains. He has a song where he goes ah 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 for my real fans. He just like does it excessively. Like, oh, <laughs> like like fan service. Type yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can I have a mid break real quick? Sure. I'm sure all of you have heard this song. It's not really an ad lib, but I feel like it could be. Roddy Rich, the box. Oh, that. <laughs> no, every time I listen to this shit, I'm saw, like, how did he make this beat with this shit? Because it sounded like he just made the sound and was like, watch me fuck this shit up, nigga. <laughs> like, I saw a TikTok where like they made fun of him, like niggas was cleaning oh the window or, or wiping the mirrors, like, <laughs> wait, this sounds dope. <laughs> like, that's, it, that's where he got it from. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> They're like he he does it. He has a he has an Instagram he has an Instagram oh, with dude. that. He has glasses and he sits in his car like um damn, I forgot the words like I don't know what to do with the box I don't know what to do with the box and he's flaw he's on beat and everything is is it's nuts it's well, nuts that's funny and, and like one thing I like about two chains is because you know how back in the uh, medieval days when the king would come in they'll blow the horn. Mm. Two Chains, he does it at the beginning of every verse. He's like, mm. all right, I'm here. Two it's time chains. to listen to a nigga rap. Two Chains, like, yeah. dup, 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 dup. and then, you know, of course, Chance. And then 
Two, another mm-hmm. two-way tie. Two of the most memorable ad libs in music history. Fuck hip hop. Mm. Rick Ross mm. and Jada Kiss. Mm. Rick Ross has three. He has huh. mm-hmm. he has yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then he has um Rose, right. and then Jada Kisses has the one that ear piercing, glass shattering. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. so ignorant, right. like. That's just one of those things oh. you hear about. Like, of course. Right. I know. Like when a nigga is. trying to laugh just to make you upset. Exactly. Right. Like, oh, you got in trouble. <laughs> like, yeah. Yo. I just <laughs> lost my tire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? Word. Uh-huh. He reminds the nigga from The Simpsons. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then he just walk away. Word. That's why you still wear cut off vests, nigga. <laughs> hey, yeah, that nigga does, is wearing a vest. Stay with the vest. <laughs> time, time for some honorable mentions. Oh yeah, before I get to the number one. No, word. Word. Oh, okay. Yeah. Word. Oh. Um problem. Oh, what? 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 <laughs> like That's I their f- name? Yeah, his name is yeah, I feel like he's from the West Coast. Yeah. Mm, mm. I feel like, like yeah. he, I feel like he mostly got on off the strength of his ad lib. Like his like his, his his rhymes are his rhymes are yeah. tight, but like that ad lib is what sets him over. The, the, and the it, it be like that sometimes yeah. for certain rap, like Waka Flocka, probably you know. Yeah. Oh, he's when you in the club, you're not like sometimes listening to him. Sometimes you need that little thing to catch people's ear that's mm-hmm. gonna like have them. What if one day you. he went back to listen to Waka Flocka and, he, and you was like, "Damn, what this shit was about?" And he was <laughs> during his verse, you looked at the lyrics and he was like, "And then." Christopher Columbus came over and this like it was like some real education. <laughs> 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 but yeah, at the time all you was like, wow, 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 wow. Another honorable mention, even though he's an awful rapper, uh Birdman. So this is the top seven? No, no, these honorable mentions. <laughs> he's <laughs> just fucking with you. Oh, Birdman. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, it's yeah. simple, but you know, it's effective. Well, can you add this as a hand a a, a hand lib? Oh, yeah. Ah! You clever motherfucker. Because <laughs> I mean, that motherfucker, this might as well be an ad lib at this point for him. I'm surprised Bro. he doesn't have his own lotion line. Like, Bro. that's perfect. Talk like, about I, dropping I, the ball. I, I doubt he still Burn has. Lo- Missed the lotion. bag. <laughs> I doubt he still has a fingerprint. Yeah, for real. That <laughs> shit probably looked like a table. Like, you know, I, <laughs> I personally think he has a personal vacuum mist. To collect the crust. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was <laughs> <nigga> just. <laughs> I got you, Mr. Birdman. <laughs> somebody um, got somebody coke about in that back pocket. Right here. <laughs> I got you, Mr. Birdman. <laughs> Another one, um, Kanye. <laughs> mm. Well, it's more <laughs> Kanye and French Montana. The hand, because mm. Kanye does it, and so does French Montana. But you can tell them apart, Word. obviously. Word. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think the top of my head anymore. Um, yeah. Oh, go. Oh, burr. Of course. Word, word. Of course. That's a classic one. Please don't beat me up, Gucci. That I wasn't. It wasn't in the top five. <laughs> but drum roll, please, for number one. Ow. And I, I'll <laughs> argue this to anybody. Mm. Push a T. Mm. Yuck. Mm. Anytime I hear that, like first of all, he knows when to put it. He says a dope ass line, yuck, and it's just it's just so braggadocious and mm. just like that's what an uh, ad lib. Like, it should yuck. be more emphasis, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it should definitely be more emphasis I, on I, what you're saying. And I love when people choose that spot because like, yeah. you hear mm-hmm. ad lib, ad lib, and you think you want to hear it more often, but then people they hold it back. Like nah, mm-hmm. I'm more. Story, yeah, yeah, yeah. that you hear in there, like, to know when to do it. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I forgot what song it was. He was like, Bathing A, Ice Cream, and BBC Rocker. And then the beat stopped. And then he's doing a yuck with an echo. And it was just, <laughs> it was just perfect, dog. And I don't know what it is like. And you can use that in real life. Mm. Like, you know, something happened with the cops and they let you free. Was like, yuck. <laughs> you just hop your whip and go. Or you prove your girl wrong, yeah. <laughs> you get you get cash back she, on some she, stuff, yeah. She, she like, you need a you need a lodging. <laughs> no, I'm just happy, bitch. <laughs> well, we appreciate your top five there, Mister Dramatic. Word, oh, word. thank you, you for your services. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy. You know who I am, and I need you to go to our website tpsgpodcast.com. Check out the gear. We got stuff from cell phone cases. All the way to hats. Go get yourself fresh. All right. How do you feel about athletes rapping or turning musicians? Okay, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm if gonna it ain't Kobe, I, I don't care. Oh, oh man, 
Um, I, I, f- I forgot the term of someone that kind of like agrees with everything, not to, so not to cause trouble. Just a yes man. I, I guess. Yeah. Not, a, not a yes man, but, well, but if it a, sounds good, mm. I don't care. Mm. That's how I feel about music. Of course, mm. I have my favorite genres, but if you mm. can rap well, Word. I'll listen to you. Cause I, I don't care if you're a carpenter <coughs> or a basketball player. If you rap well, you rap well. I would argue that Shaq was a decent rapper. Decent, yes. He was decent. But no one gave him a Still kind of is. Well, uh, he went platinum. So he you did? can't say, yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. went platinum. Oh. But this is in the 90s, so there's no access to download shit. So people who want to hear him, mm. you gotta go fans, you got to go buy yeah. shit. True, true. And yeah. people are like, whoa. I will and say he this. he had mad features. He had a lot of features, too. See? Yeah. I would and say he this. He serious. Like, he was yeah, he did, yeah. yeah. He Athletes. put out, his first album came out like two years after he got drafted or some shit. Nice. Right. Athletes like are all about percentages. Mm-hmm. And it's not in their favor when they rap. Nah. Mm-hmm. As far as the history shows, I will say the most impressive to this day for me has been Dame Lillard. Yes. Mm. You read my mind. Yeah, he he's the rap. most he impressive. Can, yes. he, can he can actually yeah. spit. He can yeah, spit. He can and he spit. actually treats himself like a rapper. Yeah. Like he I, treats himself as I, a is like combined. He's not mm. an athlete that raps or a rapper that athletes. Mm. He's a rapping athlete. Well, is it an athletic yeah. rapper? Is like, it true that he performed over All Star Weekend? Yeah, he did. Cause I got to go look that clip up because I heard about it. I never saw it. Yeah, he was injured, so he wasn't in the game. I so, heard that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, nah, but Dame can spit though. Dame yeah, Dame can spit. You know him and Shaq was going at it, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it was okay. No, Dame released a full fledged track. Shaq was just on some bullshit. They yeah. was like, oh, you think I'm playing with this shit? Oh, he, he, he released It's on track? SoundCloud. I forgot what it's called. Look it up. Oh. Yeah, it's Look on it up. SoundCloud. I think it's, it's four like, tracks between the two of them, right? Yeah, it was so like, like a full fledged diss. I mean, you know, it's just friendly banter, like, mm. but whatever. Um, R. Nah, R. Dame, Kobe. Dame came ready to kill. That, that's the I thing. Think Shaq Dame came ready like, to Shaq, kill. Oh, yeah. we're just playing. Like, but it made Dame look. Yeah, yeah. It made Dame look kind of off because it's like, ah, why are you attacking Shaq, bro? I mean, that's <laughs> like, the thing. I don't see it as an attack. It's just like, I'm attacking Flogger. That's my nigga. I'm going to joke around. At the end of the day, we're going to dap I, up. You know word. what I'm saying? He and much better than him. In this era, he he's is. so much better than Shaq, though. Maybe that's why people was like, yeah. all right, chill. Like, don't kill the old man. Shaq like, was like, Everybody, I could rap better than you, and I'm about to be on TNT. Shaq has a song called Stand and Deliver. Um, it's off his first album, Shaq Fu, which is also the name of his video game. And I I remember where I found that shit. It was a single CD, you know, they sell singles on CDs. I found that at the thrift store. Me and my brother thought it was a video game, but it ended up being music, and it's one of our favorite songs of all time. Like, it's 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 not bad, it's not good, it's just there. Like, you listen to it, like, you don't know how to feel about it. You know, he wasn't saying anything dope. It was just like Shaq's rapping, but he's not terrible at it, but he's not great. This is weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Stand and Deliver. Before we move on to the next one, I'm surprised Shaq never made a song, No More Free Throws. Just saying. Oh. Just saying. Oh, Brick City. La Brick oh. City. <laughs> he is from Jersey, so. What? Is he? Yeah, he's from Jersey. He I, I never even LSU. thought about where he was from. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, and he's so, from Newark. I think. And he is known to, to make make fun of like the fact that... He can't remember, shoot, yeah. yeah. Remember like in the sitcoms, like um, I think it was Fresh Prince, and he was like, yeah, I'm going to practice my free throws. And the character was like, you practice those? <laughs> 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 and I remember at one All-Star game, he did an alley-oop from the free throw line instead of shooting it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy. The only reason why he can't make them is... His hands are too big. Yeah, he <laughs> can't the, technically like grip the ball the right way. Tennis ball. He holds like, it like when you this. shoot, you want your wrist to flick. With mm. him, it's like the ball is in the set. Like if we it's, shot a ball, a tennis ball, exactly. It, it's hard to balance that weight when your exactly. hand is so much bigger because he, he shoots with his fingertips. Like, but it's so uh, weird. you know, the funniest thing about Shaq, not funniest, but the most gruesome was when you watched him and Shaq was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go right." <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Everybody was like, that's why he's the, he's the most, like, if you look up the word dominant, it'll have a picture of Shaq next to it. He's it'll have dominant. a picture of Shaq's nuts. <laughs> and his elbows. And, and his and elbows, elbows and nuts. <laughs> that's dominant. the episode, nuts and elbows. Nuts and elbows. <laughs> but I love it. Dominant, dog. Like, it was unfair. Mm. That's why I had... 
He created the term hacker shack because you couldn't stop him. You had to foul him. <laughs> like, he had no. Nah, imagine the, when powerful, the ref didn't though. call it and you just there like doof doof doof, <laughs> and this nigga just you like. Mm. I guess I got to be good on offense tonight because I ain't real, shit like, done on defense. Because he'll back you down on offense, then he'll and pat he, your shit. Wasn't on he defense. consistently over? Well, after Orlando, wasn't he pretty consistently over three hundred pounds most of his career? I believe so, but it was or like a when high two ninety NBA. He that was all muscle when he was in the NBA. I know, after, but that's what I'm saying. Imagine know. a three hundred pound, seven foot tall man, isn't, isn't, black man, black, <laughs> like. <isn't> he, <laughs> Isn't he the reason they they reinforced all the um the rim right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Like three, he broke a couple like on nationally televised. One of them he tried to. He said, <laughs> yeah, like and you can tell. Like you watch it. Oh, he broke the rim, but then he said he tried to. And you watch it again. You can see him do the little extra tug. Like yeah. he like and pull it down. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. like when you like, fucking fuck just. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay, y'all got this one fixed. <laughs> all right, cool, cool. Now, could you imagine, bro? Like. Like before him, uh huh. They're ath- like athletes. No you know, one like, one person did break the rim. Oh uh, yeah. Um. Uh, that's like Dominique. Bro, like, no, that's like breaking a Dominique. domino. Like you, you're, you're. You know, what's funny that yes. happened to me in Jamaica. Well, not me, but I was playing the game, and it happened mm-hmm. to someone in Jamaica. Word. Never seen. They slammed it down and it split right in half. Word. I was like, what the fuck? That's and a, Michael Jordan right, did it too. <clears throat> oh, Michael Jordan played overseas when he was a rookie. And he skied over some foreign crack and just yammed it. Mm. Backboard shattered. Well, <laughs> hold on. Before we go too far, that was still on the first one, That was the first one. one. Right? That was okay. the first one. Second yeah. one. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I got a, I got a, I got a piece. I got a piece. Because we talked about, we looked, he t- um, talked about one of them earlier. But um, how do we feel about <clears throat> jean <clears throat> shorts? Mm. Personally, I can't do it. <laughs> per- like when I was younger, jean such shorts a good, were. That's in. such a good. What? Do, how do you feel about? Because I feel like every one of us ten years ago would have wore jean shorts with no problem, right? Bro. Wait, wait, now, wait, 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 but the a, thing that, is, that was a go to now, is not ten years ex- ago, fifteen, fifteen, probably. Yeah, ex- ex- we in twenty twenty. <laughs> Hey, I'm We're still. 20, 20. Hey, fuck you, nigga. I'm still <laughs> living my best Jesus life, nigga. <laughs> hey, I'm still living my best life, nigga. <laughs> Ten years ago, but anyways, oh, think about shit. it. Mm. If you put on jean shorts now mm. and they go below your knee, you kind of look whack, right? They too big. You, you no, look, they, but you look if like you that. go the way today is, yeah, they nut huggers. Mm. I can't do so it. So it's like I can't do it. The only like, time I see them is at day parties. That's it. Oh yeah, and it's the cutoff ones. It's yeah, not even yeah, they're afraid. The yeah, ends are afraid and shit. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's it's a back in the day thing. I see it as a oh, I Damn. used to wear that type shit. Flock of Zulu with the hard ones tonight, bro. bro Jean of, shorts. Yeah, I, <laughs> John Cena. George, <laughs> nigga. George Cena. George. <laughs> that's what you fucking called him. I forgot. George. Shorts. <laughs> None of it sound appealing. No. You want a pair of jorts? No. Get away from it. It's like no, jeggings. Now, now you wear a pair of jean shorts, you, you better be doing some yard work. <laughs> no, you have to be two things. One, you working, or two, you're a very attractive person where we look away from the jean shorts. You know what I'm saying? Because if I wear jean shorts, like, I think I'm a good looking guy, but what are we going to look at you wear? Like, why are you wearing that? Yeah. But if somebody else who it fits, they wear it, like, oh, it looks good on them. It doesn't look good on me. I know my body. I know what looks good on me, what doesn't. As a hard pass. I ain't going to lie. I can't wait to hear what number three is. <laughs> George, George is just like, because I got a pair, right? <laughs> Sitting in the middle of my closet. I pass, I'm like, Bro. I pass it <laughs> all today, the time. Man. Like, nah, <laughs> I ain't doing enough swaps. But I remember back in the day, the niggas, you have different colors. Red, black, the yeah. jean, the um, denim color. You had the one that, um, that the bleached. The faded two tone, and then the one yeah. with the carpenter's hammer hook, like you was about to go build some shit. Ah. <laughs> That's if there was a scale of uh, best shorts to least best shorts, I guess would be top would probably be frayed right now, mm. but the bottom would probably be like cargo pants or something. Mm. Just because no, like you can still rock you can't, I don't know, like you can't really get away with it. No, it's like, it, why it's, you got all them extra pockets, nigga? Word. Now they the fuck you doing? Terrible. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they house shorts now. Word. And also, word. don't they forget those, those pockets for contraband. 
<laughs> oh, those yeah, uh, sweatpants shorts. Mm. Sweat shorts. Like I, just, I think those are in now. I got yeah. two pairs. I, I got one pair, and I think <laughs> I that them. shit actually works because they move soft. Exactly. They fit your body better, Word. and they're not too short. And, yeah, and they're and not, they're too not short. long enough where they think you're an old head that's trying to. Keep but you up. do kind of look you like a nigga walking like out the house, though. Yeah, I'll, that's the I'll, thing. I don't like them for me for two reasons. Plus, your meat going. <laughs> Oh yeah, that, that's amazing. As soon as you wear anything sweats, bro, that should be printing like the a male bro. print. I couldn't, I, 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 I couldn't feel comfortable wearing that, dog. Right? Nah. like, but that's any, like any, any time I do walk in, you're like, oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Any time I do wear them, though, I am around my girl. She's like, oh, I'm like, oh. You gotta do one of those to get ready to print. But it's but like ten seconds later, just it's like a non. Aggressive boner. <laughs> yeah, it's there, I mean, but it's not it's, offensive. It's like, not offensive. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like niggas be using that like... Well, it, not of course. if you had a camera women that just it, showed women the women entrance door to Tootsies, it's probably 95% sweatpants. Word. That's, <laughs> so, that's how you think about it. And, 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 and that's just, just, just being a creeper. For real. Yeah. For real. Like, so, that is low-key like molesting. Anyway. Word. Like, I digress. I'm yeah. still waiting so on number three, nigga. So, like, so, so there's that, and there's there's weight. Like I, I sweat like like in my ass too much. Like I feel like next like, subject, I, please. Uh, yeah, yeah after, can I, we after a half an hour drive? In one of them can shows, we get, get number get three? Someone call the producer. This is getting uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> You'll just hear standby music, <laughs> elevator music. <laughs> I'm, I'm spinning the do, reel. Do, 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 do. Flocka, I can appreciate, is keeping it 100. Nah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. Agree. So number three. Number three. <laughs> How do we feel? And this is going to be random as fuck. Okay. How hmm. do we feel about duffel bags? About duffel bags? I'm over them at this point. I had one before. The problem is when you're walking down the hallway, it's like walking with a big ass hot dog. It just keeps flipping forward <laughs> and back. It's like you can't carry it any way other than the soldier way, like over the back. Yeah. Right. That's the only way to carry a duffel. And then you got this huge shit strapped to you. Word. Try carrying one through the fucking airport. Oh, that's yeah. Good. At that's least amazing. there's no one in the hallway to bump into you. I gotta yeah. hold this shit close to me so I don't bump into it's people too and long. shit. Yeah, it's it's too fucking long, I think. That's Word. what she said. <laughs> anyway, the overnight ones though, That's the ones that prayed? are about this big, they're good for like you know a little two three day trip. But, but anything bigger than that, you better be an athlete, nigga. Yeah, word, <laughs> like, word, word. Yeah, like a big duffel bag is like that's just it's like, either uh, military. If yeah, if like, you don't look like you military or you don't look like you're an athlete, you're a criminal. <laughs> Carrying <laughs> a duffel bag. Like, there's, like, it's either or. Thanks the for the ad lib, dramatic. <laughs> if the cops see you walking down the street with a duffel bag, like, oh, I just look like an army sergeant. Where? Just look like a basketball player. And when you have the <laughs> when you have the travel ones, you, you can't fit everything in. So you have to have the backpack plus a duffel bag. Yeah. So when, you, when you're moving, you got to do the... We, mm-hmm. we were just, we were yeah, just saying yeah. earlier yeah. how things You can't change. take one off without the other. You got to... Keep it all together. We'll Word. just say how things have changed. How like jean shorts used to be hot now, and mm-hmm. now they're you know whatever. Rolling book bags. I will buy ten of those right now. <laughs> but back then, you would get roasted out of the classroom if you had a roller. Book back then, bag. you wouldn't even catch me with a book bag. Oh, you're one of them kids. <laughs> yeah, I was a folder guy. Like no, I, had, I needed a book bag. Hey, yeah. you, you know the, <laughs> the most was that Nike one the, 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 that you were just the, 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 oh, the, the, the track bag. But then oh. I was like, God, every time I go to take a bath, I'm like, you got like, I got these red lines on my fucking <laughs> shoulder. <laughs> No, uh, you get ten. I saw niggas like go to school consistently with those bags. Like, I know your grades are terrible. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> like, drink, go back, like, nah, bro. They ain't no homework in that. Bro. Ain't nothing in that bag but a pencil, <laughs> chips, and soda. Word. Right. Word. Specifically, Capri Sun or quarter juice and hot Cheetos. Hot oh yeah, Cheetos. That used oh, to be bro. Those and Nike if you was really from the hood, a pick a leg. I'm telling you. <laughs> and he's a hot Cheeto holder. <laughs> what? <laughs> he said those drawstring bags are hot Cheeto holders. <laughs> Bro. No, but like, I, I remember, like, you know, you know, I got scoliosis and everything. So I would change book bags all the time because I need mm. something that was comfortable. Mm. I used to have the one strap. Mm. And then for like two days, probably, mm. I had to put the, the rolling one. Mm. But, you know, I got roasted because I was like, ah, oh, fuck that shit. What? So it's, it's I, I don't know. Like, elementary kids know. Know what's up, cause they don't. Yes. No egos don't like 
Yeah, it's like a pure raw reaction. Word. So when when elementary kids like saw a rolling book bag, they'd be like, oh, that's super convenient. This is dope as fuck. Yeah. Us with our cool ass was like, rolling book bags, making our life easier. Fuck all that. And then fucking back pain when you're in your 20s. Yeah, for real. Damn, I should have listened. Word. (laughs) Trying trying to carry your books with string. Look at that. But with that, that's about a. That's about an episode. No. Well, Where? didn't you have two more or one more? Oh, actually, I'm trying to wrap it up quick. <laughs> How do you feel Got about... A hot date. <laughs> and I feel like we haven't... We haven't been and I want to... Real quick, I want to do 10 second zingers mm-hmm. just to get you guys' opinion. Oh, Got cool, you. Cool, cool, right? cool. Got you. But how do you feel about curse words? I have to stop. Because I'm a self... I call myself a writer and, you know, English and, you know, linguistics and language arts is my favorite subject. But I use a lot of curse words to fill in with words that I know. So mm-hmm. it's just laziness. It's not. Yeah, I'm stupid. It's just laziness. Mm-hmm. Like instead of saying, you know, something like, oh, that place is very far. That's hella far. It's far mm-hmm. as fuck. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, you know, I got nieces and nephews and stuff. I, I personally, I got to stop cursing. I think Personally. it's a choice mm-hmm. where, where you do it. I actually like to curse. <laughs> in certain situations, I, I think yes. It's, certain situations, I think it's fucking it's incredible. Bro, bro, <laughs> so, I, that, that's the thing. That's the thing. Because it's like, look how much more that that sentence meant when I put fucking in there. Bro, you know what so, I mean? Bro, but if I'm like, I'm fuck yeah, like, fuck this, fuck that, it could be overused. Exactly. Bro, mm-hmm. I've, I've, I've listened to the podcast and I'm like, damn. Yeah. I'm a sailor, bro. Like, yes, oh, it's bad. Uh, we 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 say we're, we're your mom's favorite podcast. Well, I'm, it's not my mom's favorite. Podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Molly like, Obama you know, used to be a you know, thug back in the day. Like, yeah. oh, you young boy spitting. <laughs> she under is like, Do you love cuss by the word. You like, you know. That's why my mom never listened to it. Like, oh, how's your podcast thing? Oh, it's going, it's going. Word, anyway, yeah. how's our? <laughs> you yeah. know, they trying to change the subject quick. How's shit. Jesus? Word, you understand? <laughs> But some, Emma, I know one Jesus situation. Doing. I'm not gonna lie. Like sometimes those things are just funnier. No, yes. You, you know what I'm saying? When you when you have like a certain, you know, that's one of them. And another situation is when you're in pain. Mm. Letting out a curse word relieves a little bit of pain. I don't, it's of, not yeah. scientific. It's like yeah, you get your fingers but slammed. I believe so. Fuck. Like, exactly. You, you, you stuff something. So shit. Word. Yeah. Word. You know, yeah. It's a little release. It's like banging your head. Your head. Your head one head of my favorite. You. Is bitch because you could use it for male or oh, female. Oh yes, very versatile. <laughs> Granted, if you use that shit in jail, yeah. good luck, nigga. Mm. That is the highest curse word in jail. Male jail is to call another man a bitch. Really? Mm. Yeah, buddy. Are they they gonna either make you a bitch or make you pay for them words. Oh, mm. that shit. is. You could say fuck, nigga. You could say everything. You That's what I was gonna bring up next. No, fuck nigga is on the level. Growing up in Miami, if someone called you a fuck nigga shot. in Miami, yeah, mm-hmm. in Miami, mm-hmm. I'll get you shot, like straight but up. But if fuck nigga is on the outside, on, on like the streets, bitch is on the jail. Like, it's mm-hmm. the same exact thing. I did bitch, not know that. Because bitch means some like, you... <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you yeah, You calling me a woman and I'm in jail, like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, it's a whole male ego thing. Anyways, uh, anyways, so yeah, real quick, I, I know y'all going to want to go <laughs> into deeper topics about it, but we're already kind of over our time. I just want to... Wrap it up in a minute, 20 seconds, starting now. I'm going to start backwards. Coronavirus, 20 seconds. Fear mongering. Fake. No, I mean, like, what's your opinion? <laughs> I just told you. It's used to oh. being used to fear monger. Okay. And it's fake. Like, okay. Just like anthrax, just like Zika, bird flu, swine flu. Um, Ebola. So you like saying it's one? like a normal disease, but we're exploiting it type of thing? They, well, no, no, it it is normal, but it's it's they use these as tactics. Like you, you know, this happening around re-election time, and I, I don't mean to be a conspiracy theorist. No, but you're right. But it's seconds, just the sir. timing of it. That's all. <laughs> okay, but, it's but just the timing. Flaka? Dude, I, I I think to a degree, and they was wishing it on Africa, right? They're, they're, right. They're, it finally got Africa. Yeah, like. But I, what I think it is, because outbreaks happen all the time. Mm-hmm. All the time. All the time. You know what I'm saying? We're humans, and there's things around. Shit, mold like, is an outbreak, and that's happening probably on everybody's house right now. The flu has killed more people than the coronavirus. Bro. This year alone. Or, or was it last year? Diarrhea. No, this year, I think. Diarrhea, historically, is probably. Malaria <laughs> killed. Hey, they said malaria, I think. I think it's malaria killed more people. Or, or like 90% of the people who have ever died. Mm. 
Not That's a weird number. That like got, meaning it has in died? existence ever. Some I'll look it up and bring okay. it to the next episode. Damn, but it is something like that. Damn, that's a good one. But, like, <laughs> okay, but <laughs> next, but <see>. next. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> you try to see Zara or Zaya, Dwayne Wade's oh. daughter. Oh, yeah. He's Twenty like, seconds, guys. So, all right. The people I'm I'm mad at people who are like, you should da 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 like they first you don't you're not in the situation mm-hmm. right so you you don't know how far that went is like are you sure da 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 so there is that, um, I, I mean you can't knock him just you know saying being supportive you know what I'm yeah. saying I, I would hope not, but there is there is that side of me that like that is like do you really is that a step that you really take at that age? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because certain things you think you want as a kid, and your parents are like, "Nah, what are you talk- talking about?" And then you really like, rethink it, like you realize, like, mm-hmm. "Oh, is this some?" You know what I'm saying? But it's like, a pipe I, dream. Yeah, yeah. A, but phase. I, a phase. Mm-hmm. A phase. A phase. I feel like for it to have gotten this far, I feel and like they've, that they've, doesn't they've mean we're trying that. to be disrespectful to nah. their situation. It's nah. just. It's this very young, young individual. Yeah. A very young individual. That's, if you're not even a teenager to make decisions like that, it's yeah. kind of... And to me, like, even... My, my bad to, to, to cut no, no, like, Even that, that community, it's a very sexualized community. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So for you to be that, that means your, your mind is very... It's on that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I feel like at that age, you... I don't know, you... you well, he's, he's like 12, right? 12. 12. 12. 12. I, I feel like that that's when you just, that's going into puberty, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. It's, it's, because it, we don't, we've never, I, I, I saw something online and I'm, I'm taking up a little bit of time, but it, it was saying that, because um, apparently Boosie had a reaction to it. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. Not, let's not go too deep, because yeah. I want to get this last one out, but... Where, and yeah. A lot of people were rocking with how Boosie... Did, he uh, got banned from Planet Fitness. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. Oh, I think uh, that's fake also, but... Hold on no, he, it's a video of him Yeah, no, I know. I, I know why it happened, though. Because mm-hmm. when you look at the Dwayne Wade video, you know the Planet Fitness theme, right? Mm. <laughs> In the back. It says judgment free zone. <laughs> For real, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> and Boosie there like, don't cut his dick, man. Yeah, he's like, come on, judgment man. free zone, nigga. Like, what? what? Yeah. I mean, but, all right, last one, guys. Sorry about that. Sorry, we just gotta go. Um, special shout out. Didn't know him, but young black man, R.I.P. Pop Smoke. Word, oh word. yeah. So I, I I read the story how it happened. It sounds like some revenge shit. Mm. It sounds like some sorry. It sounds like some jealousy shit. Mm. Cause remember, he's he's twenty. Mm. I remember when I hopped on Twitter and I saw it. It said Pop Smoke, nineteen ninety nine to twenty twenty. I was like, first of all, that is too fucking close. Mm. This one was only twenty years old. That mm. is crazy to think about. Mm. And then second, the article said that um, he he was renting a house in Hollywood Hills from somebody that usually rents out their house. Mm. You know, he's a famous guy or whatever. And they said that there were people in the house and they let the robbers in. When they came in, they they uh, they uh latched the door and like locked everybody inside. And then I saw a post today. Some dude post on Instagram said, oh, Pop Smoke owed somebody money that I knew. And I gave him the address to where Pop Smoke was. But I didn't know he was going to kill him. I don't know. I don't know how true that is. Because even you know, beyond love, that, uh, there's the uh, video they said, I think it was less than a week before he, his death, uh-huh. where he had got something from a company called Amiri. And What's that? he was showing off like, I don't know what it is, but he was basically like videos taping him mm-hmm. showing off like, yo, look at these Amiri bags. And his fucking address was right on the back. Mm-hmm. So some oh, people yeah, think yeah, yeah. that could have been him setting them up himself or just giving a layup to a nigga who already wanted to set him yeah. up. Yeah. Mm. And then apparently like I was you know reading news article um people around around that place target those houses because they know that these stars rent them out and everything. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So they were probably casing a place or whatever. And wow. then the night before he was posting all over Instagram and then same thing. He took a picture on the on the Range Rover and his homeboy was like on the floor and the address was right in the it wasn't even a full address and niggas still found it like somebody made a point on twitter where like let's say the average is 2300 
only the 300 was showing. And somebody put the Zillow, the Zillow listing right next to it. Like, see how easy it is for us to find that? Mm-hmm. Y'all need to be careful about I'm not blaming Pop Smoke's death on himself yeah, and what yeah, he yeah. did, mm-hmm. but you should be careful. You have to be more mindful. You have to be more mindful because the internet can find anything and anybody at any time. Well, yeah. yeah. RIP Pop Smoke. Yeah, RIP, man. We he do have to go. That. That's fucked no, up. For real. 20 but, uh, years old, dog. 20. Yeah. XX Tentacion was 18, 19? 19. Lil Peep was 19, 18. Juice Rose was 21. Like Mac Miller was what, 26, 27? Yeah. No, 26, because he never bro. made it to 27. Mm-hmm. Too fucking yeah. young. Bro, it used to be the. It used to he be was the, 27? It mm-hmm. used to be the 27 club, bro. But like. Yeah. And don't forget, Pac and Big died around 24, 25. Mm hmm. Which to me has always been crazy when I think about what I was doing at 24. I'm like, these yeah. niggas literally ran the entire rap green. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like when I was when I was younger, I thought they were much older. Yeah. yeah. Like 25? Yeah. And now it's like, bro, I'm years past 25. Like, That's nuts, mm-hmm. man. It's well, crazy. Damn, bro. I'm looking at, now I'm looking at 25 year olds like, you know, like you don't know nothing. Yeah. Well, no, not not you don't know nothing, but like you got you yeah, still been got through a lot shit. of yeah. you well, still well, got a lot of life to live and like yeah, so yeah. much experience for it to end. Uh, yeah, so young. Right, and you have but, that much of an impact, you know what I mean? And you only been on earth for for that. Yeah, long. man, this ugh, it's terrible. Well, I'm gonna throw it to Flocka. What do you usually say around this time? Oh, no more violence. No, no. Oh, that's about a. Episode, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know what I'm saying another episode. I just, I just checked the 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 sundial, even though it's dark outside. But anyway, <laughs> exactly. So this has been Who Kid, aka Foul Owl, <laughs> aka Light Skin Slim, hey. aka Mister Offensive. Hey, and this is Flocka Zulu, aka Sir Black Stallion the Third, aka Papa Escovich, aka Wayne Name Day. AKA stop the fire. Rah, rah. And this has been your boy Dramatic, aka Wade Chappelle, aka Wade McGrady, aka Black Galifianakis, aka Loud Patch Oprah, aka Malcolm Vex. Vex? Vex Naras. <laughs> Straight up. We out. Peace. I'll let y'all next time.